Welcome to Huntington Bank Stadium, home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers, as we get set for what ought to be a terrific battle. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Golden Gophers will put total leather to crank us up. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the North Carolina Tar Heels offense will get the first possession of the game. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. Now, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get laddered. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Grabbed behind the line. It's Blackwell. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast, and they force the negative play. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Johnson wants to throw it. He hurls one deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Tar Heels. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. This is a special talent playing the tight end position because he's not a guy that's just going to catch flat routes and block. He's a guy you can line up all over the field. He can stretch the field vertically, shows off his speed. He has very rare athleticism for a guy at his position, and he showed it there on that long touchdown catch. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put points up in electrifying fashion with an 82-yard toss for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Golden Gophers offense will take the field for the first time. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Taylor has it. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looking to pass. It's Brosmer. They've got the screen set up. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. That's got to feel really good for this quarterback. It's early in the game, so these third downs are big. You're trying to get your offense into a rhythm and a flow. Nice job reading the defense. A beautiful pass. 
And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. They'll run it from the gun. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Got his man downfield. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Who says in the RPO pass game you can't throw anything vertically downfield, right? It doesn't all have to be screens and throws at the line of scrimmage. There's a good example of a quarterback pushing the ball vertically downfield after the play fake to the running back. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Wants to throw. It's Grosmer. Fires to the big fella. Finds a crease at the 20. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, looking again to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Jackson. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Wide receiver shows motion. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you've got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Right down the boulevard, it's good. Putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. 
fires to the big fella. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him to Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. The run from the shotgun. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Johnson looking to throw. He's got an open man. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, North Carolina! Quick strike, touchdown, comes out and jump starts the offense. And, man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high-scoring game after high-scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it done with a big play, a 76-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. And after a successful run like that on first down, if you're the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're thinking about being aggressive and potentially taking a shot, because even if it's incomplete now on second, you only have a short amount of yards to go here on third. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. The Golden Gophers have it with a first and ten. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just choose up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Line getting set on second down. To the air, it's Brosmer. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Guys, we've reached the end of the period, and North Carolina's on top. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. The give is to Taylor. 
Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. And another nice game by the offense. All right, defense, we got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? They'll try to get it in with the run. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Snags it. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They're going to run it. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Maurice. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So an 82-yard drive there. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. Johnson wants to throw it. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the 7. Yeah, that's a great job. And listen, this quarterback's had success. He's already thrown for two touchdowns. We've got to make him feel uncomfortable. This is still early in the game. Nice job by the defense of getting a hit on the quarterback and making him think a little bit. Trying to pick up seven here on second down from the 20. The gift to the tailback. Powers through the defender. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Tar Heels will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. 
They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. The short hands, it's Jackson. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? Dropping back, it's Brosmer. Throwing right. He's got it. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. That's a great job by the wide receiver there on a critical down. Third down, running the curl route, coming back to the football, making the catch, and picking up the first. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They'll line up for a second down play. Off the play fake. They're bringing heat. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unleashes one deep. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Well, they've already made one. The holder will put it down at the 38 for a 48-yard attempt. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Johnson looking to throw. Fakes the grab on the left. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. And these running backs are used to being split out in high school as a wide receiver. Playing seven on seven as middle school and high school. They're just, you could tell how comfortable he was being a wide receiver near the sidelines. Didn't get nervous at all. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. On the move, it's Hampton. At the 45 on his way. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. 
And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Right down the middle. A strike downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback in his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. And the Tar Heels will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Slams it ahead. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. After getting stuffed, what did they have for an answer here on third and goal from the two? On the ground jumped on top of the pile. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Second quarter might not be gamble time, but inside the three, Palmer, I've got the green light. I'm going for this. I am too, and you're essentially running a two-point play here, right? You've got to play. You practice. He fakes it. It's a fake. Shuffle it to the tight end. And they thought they could pull off the surprise. Well, the surprise was on them. A stop. It's nice to be a riverboat gambler and all, but man, oh man, when it goes against you, it can be ugly. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to throw, it's Grosmer. Immediately fires to the middle. And he'll be marked down, but he's got enough to move the chains. Now the offense has it first and ten from its own 11. He's looking to throw it. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got it in the middle, it's Williams. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Throws to the wideout. And they can't make the play on third down. You know, on a third and short like that, you just have to have great chemistry between the quarterback and his receiver. They just couldn't get on the same page. Now it's up fourth down. The Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He'll call for the fair catch here. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Wants to throw on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now. Throws toward the end zone. 
falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. This defense is going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime because they have been taken advantage of deep down the field in the passing game. They've already given up two TD passes. That was almost number three, and we're only in the first half. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Quickly to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You've got to get him involved. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Johnson wants to throw it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Just a few seconds to go here in the first half, and they'll send out the field goal team. Is that guy's foot human? My goodness, did he hammer that ball from distance. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there in Minneapolis. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. And with that, let's send it back to our guys at the bank there in the Twin Cities. The Tar Heels will boot it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and that they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. Now on first down from the 30. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. He's got his man. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. When you play zone coverage, everybody drops back. Everybody has eyes on the quarterbacks. You're not really looking at the wide receivers a lot of times, so they can slip in those little cracks, and the quarterback can really make precise throws. Great job, great play, great throw, great game. The gift to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll run play action. He'll pull it down and run. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. On that play-action fake, the action was the quarterback got clobbered after he faked the handoff. It definitely didn't work. Um, 
the fake is supposed to be the most important part of that to try to get the guys to suck up just for a second. But you could tell the offensive line, they weren't able to hold their blocks. Defense got to them and got the sack. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Really nice job by the defense. Here in the second half, they've got to have the mentality with the lead. If we just don't give up any more points, we get the W. We got to make big plays on third down. They made a big one there. And the Golden Gophers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Hauls it in, looking for space. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the Tar Heels get it past the sticks. Third and inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop it. You better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. The Tar Heels have it with a first and ten. They'll try the run. Still on his feet at the 45. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. Play. And the Tar Heels racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess. Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off. Great job getting in the backfield, making the play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They go to the draw. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback, you want to fly upfield every single play, we'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. And here comes play number six of the drive. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. Caught behind the line, it's Jones. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, UNC! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Caught in the backfield, it's Taylor. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. After the first down completion, it's second and short. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. They move the tight end all over. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Got his man quickly. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude. Get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. He wants to throw. Fires to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Looking for a man. It's Grosmer. Quickly complete. Open space at the 25. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. The Golden Gophers will snap it on first and ten. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Got it behind the line. It's Taylor. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's why, for the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Powers forward. and show some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ball game. game. 
Touch pass on the run. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're within a field goal. They march 79 yards on the drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Bringing it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Quick pass on the fly motion. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who've starred through the first three periods. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Fast motion from the offense. Quick pass on the jet motion. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. The play action fake. And they got him for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. And he didn't get a big game. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score your defense, does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. Trying play action. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I know it wasn't an interception, but a lot of times tips and deflections leads to interceptions. Great job by the defender getting his mid on the football. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. He finds his man. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Catch in the middle. It's Spencer. Knocked down immediately, but a big gain down to the 45. 
Nice patience by the quarterback there. He had his receiver running a crossing route, but the QB knew it was zone coverage, so he's got to be careful and make sure that he hits him in a window. He did that right there. And the Golden Gophers are on the move. Taylor has it. At the 35, he's got room. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Now the play fake. Dances away. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Really good job by the defense getting to the quarterback and getting him on the ground for no gain. It's tough. Once you get there and get pressure, it's so hard to get these guys on the ground because they're elusive. Really good job wrapping them up and getting to the ground. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. A shot toward the end zone. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. What a tremendous job in coverage by that DB. He just stayed in the receiver's hip pocket, then able to locate the football and swat it away. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. Splits the upright, it's good. And here in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. set to kick it away. Out of the end zone. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Johnson looking to throw. They're working that left side. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Man, the offense got away with one there. That was supposed to be a running back screen. Instead, the quarterback threw it somewhere else. And with all the offensive line running way down the field, they're lucky that wasn't a penalty. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll try to run for it. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. The Tar Heels have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Hampton. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding leverage. I can't let that fast sucker get outside of me towards the sidelines. Nice job expanding with him and then going and making a tackle. One of the hardest things to do in football is tackle guys in the open field. Great job going and getting them on the ground. Looking for a crease. It's Hampton. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How frustrating is that? You're that running back. Where were you supposed to go? There was absolutely no lane for him on that play. This is the type of play that could be a pivotal moment. Tight game, third and long coming. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Wow, the quarterback got away with one there. He's lucky that defender dropped that pass because if he picks it, he might have taken that one to the house. And the Tar Heels will punt it away on fourth down. Catches it at the 30. Slips through the line. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Hand off from the shotgun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. This offense has a second down play. To throw, it's Brosmer. They're trying to get to it. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Yeah, and the quarterback didn't have a chance. I mean, when you get to the QB that fast, Jesse, you're still processing information, for goodness sakes. And you're getting to the sideline whenever this drive is over, and you're asking for help from your offensive coordinator. You're asking, hey, can we slide our offensive line and help out blocking this guy? Can I get a tight end to stay in and maybe get a chip on this dude? Because I'm not feeling too comfortable right now back there knowing that we're trying to only block him with one hand. They keep count of their number of explosive plays, and that last one has them set up first and 10 at the 19. From the gun, the running back has it. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves in the position to win. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And these are the big decisions you have to make in a football game. How confident are you in your defense? That's all this decision comes down to. If I kick a field goal and I trust my defense, that's how this game could end. Or do I want to roll the dice because I don't believe in my defense? Splits the uprights right down the middle. They're celebrating on the sideline after taking the lead, but still time on the clock. You got to give this guy so much credit, man. It is so hard in practice to simulate the pressure that he just faced. Late in the game, seconds left on the clock. You have an opportunity to kick a field goal to put your team up late in the game, and he absolutely drilled it. What a moment for that young man. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. Johnson wants to throw it. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Double time. Hustling to the line. They spike it to stop the clock. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. And they've got to push the ball down the field. On second down, they'll take to the air. The quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Yeah, and, just, uh, and it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. 
After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Looking to throw for it. Getting some heat. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. It is your time. What is in your bag? What is your play call? I'm gonna be fourth down now. I have to have this. I'm trailing. This is what every quarterback dreamed about in their backyard, making that play in a big time moment. It's go time. Gotta have it here on fourth down. Fires toward the end zone. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. 